find eight rational numbers between negative two by three and one by seven. So in the last video, we saw how we can find one or two rational numbers using the concept of averages. But in this question, they are asking us to find eight rational numbers. We can find them using averages, but that would be really hectic for us. So what can be the other way? Well, just to give you a hint here, we would be using the concept of equivalent rational numbers. Equivalent rational numbers. You can just pause here and think it through okay, how we can use that. But just to give you more explanation on this, just to give you how we can use this, let me use another example and then we'll come back to our question. Let's say that we have two upon 10, one rational number, and the other rational number is nine upon 10. So what would this two upon 10 mean? This would mean two parts out of 10 parts. And this nine upon 10 means nine parts out of 10 parts. Since the denominators are same, here we have 10 and here we have 10, it is easy for us to actually identify what are we talking about. So if I would ask you to write some rational numbers between them, I can easily say this is just two parts out of 10 parts. Another number that would lie between two by 10 and nine by 10 would be three upon 10. This would mean three parts out of 10 parts. This is more than two parts, but less than nine parts. Similarly, I can write four upon 10. This is again greater than two parts out of 10 parts, but lesser than nine parts out of 10 parts. Similarly, five upon 10, six upon 10, seven upon 10, eight upon 10, all these rational numbers would lie between these two rational numbers. These rational numbers are greater than two by 10 and less than nine upon 10. So it, it makes, things really simple for us when the denominators are same. And that's what we would be using to actually find eight rational numbers between these two given rational numbers using the concept of equivalent rational numbers. Let's see how. So the idea here is to get same denominator so that we can easily identify what we are talking about. Now in this case, how can we get same denominator? We have negative two upon three and one upon seven. If we would multiply three and seven, we can get 21 and that is also their LCM. So let me do one thing just to get same denominator and there can be multiple ways to do this. The simplest way is I will multiply negative two by three with the denominator available here, that is seven. So since I want my fraction, my rational number to remain the same, I would multiply seven in numerator and denominator both. So negative two times seven and three times seven. The rational number would remain the same. The value won't change because we are talking about equivalent rational numbers. And to know more about this, you can watch earlier videos of the same unit. So now this rational number changed into negative two times seven is negative 14 and three times seven is 21. How can we get 21 here? So if I would multiply this denominator by three, seven threes are 21, but I have to do the same thing with the numerator. So one times three. So one times three is three and seven times three is 21. Now it is very easy to visualize these two rational numbers because we have written their equivalent form. So now let's write down some rational numbers which would lie between negative 14 by 21 and three upon 21. So the numbers can be negative 13 upon 21, negative 12 upon 21, negative 11 upon 21, negative 10 upon 21, negative nine upon 21, zero upon 21, and this would go until we have two upon 21. So these are all the rational numbers. Actually, they are, we just found more than eight rational numbers. So you can pick any eight and that would be the correct answer. So the core idea here is to get the same denominator to get the number of rational numbers they are asking us to find. And if you can do this, you can find any number of rational numbers between any two given rational number. So I hope this concept is clear now.